Hey what's up guys it's Mac here from Tech Flash and in this video we're going to take a look at CR Red ROM for the UU Furia so without any further ado let's get started So before we proceed any further in the video just go to the links in the description below and download the rom as well as the g apps so once that's done you need to boot your euphoria into the recovery mode for doing that you need to hold the power button as well as the both volume rockers simultaneously and now we should be into the twrp There we go and now as you can see we are booted into the TWRP recovery. Make sure you are running onto the latest version of TWRP which is available. I will be providing a link to that also in the description below. So before you proceed any further in the installation process of the ROM, just go to the backup and take a quick backup of your whole device. So in case if something goes wrong, you can just restore the backup. Select these three options and then swipe on swipe to backup. So backing up of device might take a while depending upon how much data and apps you had. Once the backup of the phone is complete, just quickly go to the home of the TWRP. So now you need to wipe your device so go into the wipe tab, in that go into the advanced wipe and then select Dalvik Art Cache, System, Data and Cache. Don't select the internal storage or micro SD card as that's where ROM will be as well as your G apps. So once you have selected all these options, just swipe on swipe to wipe. So as you can see the wipe has been successfully completed by the TWRP recovery. So once the wipe of the phone is successfully complete, now you need to go into the install tab. There you need to navigate to where you have downloaded or copied the ROM. So in my case I have it into the external SD card. So I'll just select the external storage here. So as you can see here we have the ROM, the CR Droid Android. For Latios, the Latios is the code name of the UU Euphoria. So now select the ROM and just swipe on swipe to confirm the flash. So as you can see now the TWRP is flashing the ROM. So as you can see now the ROM has been successfully flashed by the TWRP. These two are common errors, just ignore them. So once the flashing of the ROM is successfully complete, now you need to again go into the install tab to flash the G apps. So as you can see here, we have the open G apps ARM64. You need the 64-bit version because the UU Euphoria has a 64-bit chipset. Any other G apps won't work. So now just select the G apps and then swipe on swipe to confirm the flash. So as you can see now the TWRP is now flashing the G apps. In my case, I'm using the mini G apps. You can install the stock or any other version which you want. So as you can see now the installation of the G apps was been done successfully. So now you need to just quickly reboot the system. And now we should be booted into the CR to draw. There we go, so as you can see now we have the CR Droid animation. As this is our first boot, it might take up to 10 to 15 minutes to boot up. So as you can see here we are finally booted into the ROM and there we have our initial setup. So I'll be back quickly after setting up all these things. There we go, so as you can see here I have finished with the initial setup and now we are into the home screen of the ROM. So as you can see here, we have the Trebuchet launcher set as default. As I use the Nano G apps, in case you have installed the stock or the mini G apps, you will be asked to select among the Google Now or the Trebuchet launcher. So as you can see here, this ROM has inbuilt pixel navigation bars, but there is no home button animation like pixel on this ROM. But we have the pixel navigation bars in this ROM. So as you can see here, we have the blue accents just like pixel, so the brightness slider also has the blue accent. So I'll just quickly go into the settings and show you. So as you can see here everything in the settings is blue just like pixel. So now I'll just quickly go into the about phone and show you the info of the ROM. So as you can see here the Android version is 7.1.1, the CR Android version is 1.5. So as you can see here we have the Android N installed on the UU Furia. So as of now the ROM is feeling pretty smooth. So now I'll just quickly show you about the features which are included in the ROM. So let's just quickly go into the status bar. So as you can see here the option for the network traffic, so this ROM has an option to show the network traffic. So as you can see if you enable this option, it will show you the incoming and outgoing network traffic. Now I'll just quickly disable it. So as you can see here there is an option to select the status bar icons, so you can just quickly select which icons which you want to show into the status bar. 
let's just go into the battery bar so if you enable this option so as you can see here you are getting a battery bar indicating the current battery onto the status bar you can also set different colors if you want to the battery bar so i'll just quickly show you how to do that so as you can see here we have set the purple color to the battery bar so it's a great feature if you want to have So as you can see here we have the option for the clock style I have currently set it to center so as you can see the clock is appearing into the center you can toggle between the different clock styles if you want. There is also option for the AM PM we can enable it if you want. Let's just take a look at the fonts so as you can see there are various fonts which are provided with the ROM. These fonts are for the watch into the status bar so as you can see as I have select the italic it is showing into the italic font. There are various fonts which you can try out if you want and set to the one which you like. So as you can see there is also a toggle for increasing or decreasing the size of the watch into the status bar. So as you can see there is an option for toggling between the different battery status styles. As of now I have set it to text you can set it to different ones which you want. So as you can see there is an option for the brightness control so if you want to control the brightness by sliding over the status bar you can enable this there is also an option for showing the notification count so as you can see the double tap to sleep is also supported on this rom so i'll just quickly show you so as you can see the double tap to sleep is working on this rom you can also get the cr dry logo if you want so as you can see in the top left corner of the status bar we have the cr dry logo now let's just take a look at the quick settings so here you can customize how much number of rows or columns you want into the quick settings. So as you can see now the appearance of the quick settings has changed. You can customize this as per your requirements. So here we also have the easy Wi-Fi toggle, the easy Bluetooth toggle, easy data toggle. So as you can see there is also an option to enable or disable the brightness slider. So if you disable this it will not appear into the quick settings. Now I'll just quickly enable it so as you can see it has again appeared into the quick settings. So as you can see there are many features available in the quick settings. Now let's just quickly take a look at the buttons. So as you can see there are various button settings you can set this as per your requirements. Now let's take a look at the navigation. So as you can see there is also an option to enable or disable the navigation bar. As of now as we don't have the physical keys we need to use the navigation bar. Now let's take a look at to the notification settings so as you can see there are various notification options available here you can enable disable them as per your requirements. Now let's go into the display settings. So as you can see this ROM also supports ambient display so you can enable or disable it if you want. There is also an option to set the transparency of the quick control settings so if you just reduce the opacity so as you can see now the quick settings are appearing transparent so you are able to see what's in the background. So as you can see there are various transparency settings which are available here. You can change them as per your requirements. Now let's take a look at the lock screen settings. So as you can see there is an option for the screen shortcuts. Here you can set the shortcuts for different apps onto the lock screen if you want. Now I'll just quickly show you by setting up one of the shortcuts. Now I'll just quickly go into the applications and select the phone. So now I'll just quickly lock my device and show you that the shortcut has appeared onto the lock screen. So as you can see we have the shortcut of the phone app onto the lock screen. So it's a pretty cool feature to app. You can set different apps which you want. So as you can see here we have different options to change the interface of the lock screen. You can enable or disable the clock, the date, the alarm. Now let's take a look at the power menu. So as you can see there are various options available for the power menu. So if I just quickly enable the screenshot. So now as you can see if I hold the power button I get an option to take a screenshot. And now as you can see the screenshot has been taken. Now let's take a look at the recent screen. So as you can see there are various options available for the recents. You can change them if you want. Now let's take a look at the miscellaneous settings of this ROM. So as you can see the clock white jet, screenshot type, you can also set it to take the partial screenshots if you want. Now I'll just quickly show you by taking a partial screenshot. So if I select a screenshot option, it will ask me to select the area which I want to be screenshotted. So as you can see only the selected area screenshot has been taken. So that's there if you want. Now let's take a look at the display settings. So as you can see this ROM also supports live display. So as you can see you can set it to different modes. So I'll just quickly set it to night mode. So as you can see the night mode is working pretty great on this ROM. Now I'll just quickly turn it off. Double tap to wake up is also supported for this ROM. I'll just quickly show you. So as you can see the double tap to wake up is working on this ROM. There is also option to toggle between the font size. You can also increase or decrease the font size as per your requirements. So the rest of the settings are normal settings which are available on any Cyanogen Mod 14.1 based ROM. Now let's take a look at to the camera app of this ROM. 
So as you can see here we have the Sanyujan Mod 14.1 camera app. So as you can see the camera app is working. So I'll just quickly show you other settings which are available in the camera app. So as you can see you can set the picture size, the picture quality, you can set it to 100% so as you can see the face detection is also supported on this ROM. You can also set uh, ISO, as of now it is set to automatic. You can also set manual exposure. So as you can see there are various more settings which are available in this camera app. It also supports HDR mode. Now let's take a look at to the video settings. So as you can see the maximum video quality which is supported is 1080p. It also has 720p, HDR 480p, VGA, QVGA. There is also option to set the focus mode as of now it is set to continuous focus. As you can see there is also an option for taking high frame rate recording. You can take slow motion or high speed videos with this app. It's a pretty great camera app. So it's a great ROM to have installed on your phone. So if you are using your U Euphoria as your primary device you can install this ROM onto the phone as it will provide you with pixel accents and pixel like navigation bars and many more features. So that's pretty much about this video guys and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and do subscribe to Tech Flash for more such videos and I'll be catching you into the next one.